deep venous thrombosis, or DVT for short, refers to the buildup of clot within the veins and the legs. This is a very serious and potentially dangerous condition. It's also remarkably common, with an estimated 300 to 600,000 cases occurring in the United States annually, and it's associated with up to 100,000 deaths per year, typically occurring because these clots in the legs travel to the lungs in the form of a pulmonary embolism. We see it in up to 1% of the elderly population, but it's seen in younger individuals as well. One of the most common scenarios we see is where someone has been on a long flight or a long car ride and hasn't gotten up to move around. When the blood sits in the veins, it's predisposed to the development of clot. With that said, there are many other scenarios where we see the development of DVT. For example, certain surgeries, commonly orthopedic surgeries, such as hip replacements or knee surgeries, are associated with DVT. There are also medical conditions such as cancer that predispose someone to developing clot in their veins. There are other conditions such as pregnancy where a patient can be predisposed to developing clot. And sometimes people develop clots in their legs for no known reason and they're later discovered to have an abnormal clotting disorder that was the causative agent. The symptoms of DVT are variable with up to 50% of patients being asymptomatic. Common symptoms include swelling or enlargement of the leg, pain that can be anywhere from mild to severe, discoloration of the involved extremity, as well as temperature changes of the leg as well. Sometimes patients will notice abnormal veins in their legs that they hadn't appreciated previously. We have a variety of tools that allow us to treat DVT. Specifically, we have devices that physically remove clot and others that dissolve clot. When the clot is older and therefore no longer amenable to being removed, we can open up the patient's veins using balloons and sometimes stents as needed. What is universal to all of these treatments is that they are minimally invasive and that we can perform them on an outpatient basis. There is no surgery involved and therefore the recovery from these procedures is very quick. It also limits the risks associated with these procedures.